We are the Corpse Paint Show, and we hope you get what you deserve. Tonight is the Blood Moon Lunar Eclipse, also called the, the Wolf Moon because of the first full moon of the year. And so that means there may be lunar activities going on of the carnivorous variety. We'll talk to Max on that. Hi, Ghost Babes. Hi. To my right is Velvet Mystique, and also, of course, Janie Slash is here. You look so good in hats. Janie, you do. Thanks. You look great. I got it from Corpse Factory. Oh, good. <laughs> well, we want to talk more about uh, making corpses at factories. Uh, I thought you were going to want to talk about more about my beret. Your beret. They have various yeah. styles, all in stack. You can get this one, which is the spider web. Or they also spider have bats, yeah. or they have a bath mitt. Will you put your head down so we can see this? Yeah, the web on top. I think that's cool. I like spiders. You are Spider Janie. I am Spider Janie. Welcome to the Corpse Paint Show. We hope you guys have had a great week. So we're going to welcome our guest, Max Booth, one, two, three. Max Booth, the third. Hello, Max. Why, hello. Thank you for having me on. <laughs> You're very welcome, man. You're in good company that Fangoria has picked up your book, man. Amazing. I am still shocked. No, you shouldn't yeah. be. Now, uh, the book is Carnivorous Lunar Activities, and let's point out, everyone, that if you're in Dallas, you want to meet Max Booth in person, he will be at Deep Vellum Books on Commerce Street in Deep Vellum, Dallas, Texas, on February 23rd. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, Max, the book comes out on the, the day before that, um, uh, officially, I guess, right, February 22nd? <clears throat> you all correct, yes. And this is the this is kind of a, a, a you know could I say comedy horror? You um, can say that. I, okay, I, I, I'll allow it. Good, good. That uh, you know I don't know it throws out um, throws out you know a lot of reference to American Werewolf in London maybe, um, and it's about uh, Ted who wants to kill his wife because he loves her so much, <laughs> and his friend Justin who is convinced he is a werewolf. Why, why don't you let Max tell us about what his book's about? I don't know. I, I'm sorry, you Max. Just get I, so I, I get so excited. Yeah. So, <laughs> all right, <laughs> Max. Uh, all right. So, yes, please, please, please fill us in. Am I right so far? Yeah. I mean, you can you can just keep telling everybody what it's about. Uh, I'll <laughs> let you. That's cool. <laughs> uh, he isn't exactly wanting to kill his wife, but it's it's crossing his mind when we be when we open up on him since you know. Uh, if, she won't have me then she can have nobody that type of yeah. shitty mindset but the yeah the main plot is his old childhood friend justin he believes he has become a lichen a, 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 a wolf man yep. and he wants ted to shoot him come midnight because of reasons that he has gaggled on yahoo and sold so yeah. <laughs> the whole book is basically Justin trying to convince Ted to shoot him at midnight. <laughs> and he bought the silver bullets on eBay. Yes, I mean, I don't know. Will, will you buy your silver bullets? Right. eBay is the best place. It would be eBay. I would go I to eBay. I don't know. I think I do Amazon Prime. I get them really fast and <laughs> I can track it a lot easier. You know, yeah, but half the time it's like not name brand. That's so true. Bullet. You know, it's really just like titanium. That's like the one thing about Amazon. You'll order one thing and you're like, oh, that's right. And then they send you some off brand and you're like, what the fuck is this? This is not what I ordered. Yeah, then come midnight, you, you shoot your friend and he isn't dead because it's not 
actual syllable. Now, oh no. What do you do? You, and you, run. Yeah, you run. And you don't want to piss off a werewolf. I mean, exactly. if you shoot that, you're like, I want to make sure it's fucking dead. Just saying. Because I don't want to be chased down because I don't run fast. <laughs> I, I can't run at all. I would die immediately. <laughs> uh, Max, <laughs> hey, I'm definitely going to be there on February 23rd, Deep Vellum Books. And I think we've got the event page to pop up. So we want to, you know, we want to ask everyone, it's about a month away. Put it on your calendar now. It's um, a free event. You can come and meet the author at Deep Vellum Books, Commerce Street in Dallas. And, um, and of course, you'll have the books there uh, for sale. So Fangoria picked it up. So we know it's, it's, uh, it's scary, it's spooky, and it's authentic, and it's real. There we are. There we are. Yeah, the, uh, that's February. me. Yeah. You can, ah. And you can see this fine, right? Yeah, I can see it. And that is you, and you're reading something. And I love the book cover. We've, Thank you. You know, we're we're all going to be howling at the moon here shortly. It will be dark, and we we love the blood moon. We love everything that's blood on the Corpse Paint Show. If you go outside, start howling at the moon. I'm going to go stay somewhere else tonight. Okay. I'm just saying. No, no, no. I'm not Justin. I, I don't you, want to. You're die. confusing me with uh, with with Max's character. Okay. Easy mistake. It's not like he's the only werewolf. There are other werewolves. I mean, how did he not have become a werewolf? Oh, Do you guys tell that whole book. story? Is it in the book? We yeah, we speculate. Ooh, okay. I like yeah. speculations. You said Google, like they like Google it. Like I well, he uh, he's trying to decide how to kill himself, so he goes to Yahoo Answers and he he posts a question, and everybody else comments. Like one guy is like, uh, "Try fucking old mom with a silver crucifix." That's that's not gonna help. <laughs> and most of the people are like, "Hey, try a silver bullet." That's what the movies do. Now, were you inspired by any of those movies in particular? Like, are you like a Howling fan or a fan of Silver Bullet or anything like that? Uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a fan of all of them. Um, this book, I would say I was most inspired by movies that take place in a, in one room with only uh, two characters, like um, The Autopsy of Jane Doe or Resolution. Because this whole book is just two guys in a room and they don't leave. It's just a long conversation. There's no uh, flashbacks or anything like that. We just, we stay in the room and maybe we leave at the end. Maybe we don't. Well, you know, they had the flashbacks of them uh, losing their virginity in that basement. And uh, Did you and read the book already? Uh, part of it. Oh, oh. And, oh yeah, well, and, don't be giving away stuff. Yeah, don't. Yeah, give it all. Don't. Oh, okay. no, no, no. He has a tendency, don't ever give him spoilers, because he is a spoiler. <laughs> no, come on. Let's no, go no. through the whole plot right now. Yeah, just do it right now. Just give it all away. <clears throat> no, there's a lot of okay. cool, a lot of cool He's backstory. He's the kind of person that's like, oh this. my gosh, that twist at the end of that movie that was blah, 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 was so good. I'm like, shut up. So, I can't watch movies after he's watched them. I'm just like, see, just tell me what fucking I'm, happened. I'm pro spoiler, and Janie slash is anti. And, and Velvet, right. Velvet, where do you where do you stand on that? I I don't give spoilers, but I love reading them. I okay. like I reading hate surprises. Them. I yeah. I like I get excited about things. So like <laughs> if I read like a review of something like a movie, especially like something about a gory effect that made everybody pass out in a the theater, I'm like. And I just sit there in the movie and wait mm -hmm. for it. I'm mm -hmm. so excited. I'm usually let down. It's usually not as good as I think it's going to be. But, you know. But it's whatever. Yeah. But I do. I, it gives me something to like, anticipate and get excited about. I don't want the whole thing spoiled, but I do like little bitty spoilers. And, the, and these are two guys. I guess they're 30-something. And, and they're you know, kind of reminiscing about their childhood. But now they've got a dilemma because Justin wants Ted to shoot him. Oh, okay. I was like, wait, what kind of movie are you talking about? I'm glad you finished that. The bill Justin wants Ted yeah. to shoot him because I was yeah. like, wait, 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 what movie? What, what book is this we're talking about now? It's not a movie book. Oh, this is kind of book. Look, I mean, I, it's called Carnivorous. I, I, I found, I found, I found it very direct and very an easy read, a fun read, and so man. Um, yeah, look for this on February 22nd and order it. You, I, you were talking about I, Amazon. I would like, I, I love the title. It's a very creative way of talking about werewolves. I really appreciate that. How did you come up with that? Oh, I, I stole it from a movie called oh. An American Build in London. Maybe you know about it. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. There's a line of dialogue till the end. The, the, I think it's the doctor who's like, I've had enough to heal with these carnivorous lunal activities. <laughs> So nice, that's nice. Good title. Well, you know, here's the other funny thing, and this is trivia, okay? There's a metal band called Kill Everything. I 
I think they're from San Antonio also. I don't know. They released a song called Carnivorous Lunar Activities. Oh, Wait, yeah. the band I, name is Killing Everything? Kill Everything. Oh, the band if I name... lived in San Antonio, I would have a band called that way, too. <laughs> okay. Kill Everything. Well, <laughs> all right, so Kill Everything. Kill Everything has a song called that, and I think that that was a ripoff of your book, Max. Or, I doubt it. Uh, I think they came to us, but uh, I didn't know about the song until after the fact, and I thought, you know what? They stole the they, they stole the title as well, so we can both be we can both be thieves. There you go. Thieves okay. of the title. Yeah. Now, um, I don't think I've actually I have not actually seen that movie. I believe. Well, sure. let's watch it. Okay, let's watch hey, it. So it's Max right Boot. Max right now. Max I'm leaving. I'm going to go watch the movie. No, 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 no. I'll talk to you no, about no. it when I get done. You're going to hang on, right? I'm just kidding. Yeah. Max yeah. Booth <laughs> the third. And all right, Max, I got to tell you something funny. Okay. I love the third part of your name. And you know what it reminded me of? It reminded me of the three strikes in Howling, the three scratches. And in fact, and then I was looking at it and I found this. So... Take a look. You mean the Howling Three? <laughs> that, that's I know. That's, that's not Howling that's Three. A, that, um, that is me, actually. They that's used, what I thought. They used a photo of myself. And you if you if you look closely, there's three long fingernails. There's three at the end of Howling, and and there's uh, I think I think twelve T. So that's a. You do uh, know though. There's there's five nails, right? Just three pointing forward. Three pointing forward. Yeah. Yeah. Is that, that, why does the, the werewolf look like a lion a little bit? <laughs> That would not that happen in a Max Booth third um, book. It would not. I think. I think the the first werewolf. What was the first werewolf movie um, that you ever saw? Was it a, was it American Werewolf in London? Yeah, I pulled that one. Or Silver Bullet. I don't know. Yeah, see, mm -hmm. Silver Bullet was my first, and I I loved that movie. Like that was my favorite movie when I was a kid. And then I saw The Howling. Do you like <laughs> The Howling? How do you feel about it? I haven't seen it in a long time, so I'm gonna I'm gonna. Hold my opinion secretly until I yeah. rewatch it. It's one of those that takes a rewatching for sure. Yeah. Is that one where the first one was good and, and the six that followed it? I just remember <laughs> werewolf sex. That's like all I remember. Oh, we gotta watch that again. <laughs> I Let's was, watch I it was, right now again. Well, Come I, was, on. I was a kid and it was on TV and I was like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> like, that's probably like, thankfully, that's not uh, how it's like in real Well, life. that's carnivorous lunar activity right there. <laughs> hey Max, like, what so, the hell is happening? You know what we got to find it's a out. Very uh, confused kid. Okay. Is, it, it is you know how? Look, first off, we have lunar eclipse tonight, and you're on the Corpse yeah. Paint Show. This is meant to be. It is January twentieth. It is the lunar eclipse, blood moon, wolf moon. Uh huh. Now, where would all those names come from? I don't even know. Blood moon because it's it's, it's so it's closest to the Earth. Velvet. At this, uh, Go ahead, Velvet. You, you can answer everything for us. So. Yeah, it's called Blood Moon because when there is a lunar eclipse, the sun makes the moon look sort of orange, orangish red. Mm -hmm. And back in the old days, people called it the Blood Moon because it it resembled what was in the um, rapture in the Bible, oh. where the devil was going to come if the blood moon the devil is yeah. gonna come tonight oh you my know. god what so yeah that's why it's called where blood you, where's moon. the devil going the, they, well, to rapture <laughs> to all drug. of us okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's why it's called the rapture didn't know we were going with that the, <laughs> the horny boys <laughs> yeah uh, hey uh max he's a max, horny boy max I'm, a, was a horny boy I'm gonna let you in on a secret okay now, i'm hoping to wrangle these two to be all so all three of us can be at your book signing okay okay um, i have now, a show that night what time is it on February 23rd? Yeah. It is. Seven to nine. Oh, I won't be there. She's, I, got, she's, damn. I got to perform. I'm she's sorry. At the, she's oh. at Sue Ellen's, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm performing at Sue Ellen's well, that cool. night. Yeah. Right. For Femi oh. Fatales. So. Well, good. Are you a werewolf? Femi Fatales. No. no. <laughs> now, um, I've been a werewolf. Yeah, yes, she has. Have. I have. Hey, let me bring up one blood. more thing before I circle back to the to topic I tried to start. All right. Is, is, I'll be at the book signing. Is our sponsor, Corpse Factory. <laughs> Brandon has a badass uh, a werewolf costume that he wore out to an event in Fort Worth. So if if our sponsor is watching or listening, uh, so uh, shout out. He he's got he's got a great <laughs> um, werewolf costume that is full body with big feet, uh, big hat, big. Do teeth. all werewolves have big feet? I would hope so. That's yes. that's for you, Max. Yes. Okay. Or is that big foot? 
No, that's something else. <laughs> yeah, I was saying, I feel like that's not. I feel like I don't feel like werewolves would have big feet. They no. they have Pause. to, otherwise I they can't they jump on top of things. Well, think about American werewolf. His feet extend and his hands yeah. start extending. Yeah, yeah, but I thought they were more like like. Okay. Paws like wolves. Yeah, yeah. claws. Yeah. Claws. I don't know what Anyways. I'm talking about. I'm not an expert. All right. So the wh where was I going on that earlier? I don't. The know. the um, our sponsor has a cool you know a, yeah a cool ass um. Uh, werewolf costume. So uh, we got to get a picture of that and have him send it for next time. We'll just keep talking about Max's book. And yeah, werewolves. we're just gonna keep talking about it forever and ever and ever. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Cool. We're so we went to a Fangoria event on Friday night here in Dallas. It was so fun, and they they've just got a great team of people, Max. And I'm just so glad that they picked up yours and that you're you're kind of part of that family now, man. Yeah, I, I haven't met them any of them yet, but I'm excited to finally meet them next month at Deep Vellum. It will be. I hope like I hope we don't all meet and then we decide we hate each other. That would be awful. <laughs> oh no, they're all wonderful. You'll like them all. Okay, cool. But if that happens, uh, I think it would be a great novel. So, yeah, what if it's like prison? Okay, they say when you go to prison, you have to punch the the like the strongest one the one the most dominant so mm. of all of the fango team who would you recommend i just knock out no none of them they're very really? chill Actually, and casual and yeah. wonderful yeah no, no there's they're no, all they're no, all no, wonderful no. preston yeah. no, 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 no 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 you watching no. preston oh, no. no no don't be preston. 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 preston no 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 yeah. Preston is the one. Preston is probably the one that 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 picked your your book. He's everything goes through Preston. Preston's really cool. He's a really cool dude. Uh, you see this? You see this, Preston? You see this book? <laughs> yeah. You see this? Oh yeah. No, 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 no. Did you no, no, did no, you no. read it? Did you read it? Come on. No, Preston. Come on. No. Did you read it? <laughs> yeah, it's good. Did you like it? Yeah, I loved it. I'm still gonna fight him now. Oh, he sent me a picture of the werewolf costume. Oh yeah, hold that up. Yeah, oh, okay, you can see it on my no, phone. No, no, just what? hold it up. We're gonna zoom in. No, we're not. Well, people can. No, just hold <laughs> it up. Yeah, yeah. No, that's not hold. I don't yeah. want to show people my phone. Stop. What is the passcode? Yeah. Oh, okay. No, it's personal. <laughs> like, like, there. Zoom in. See, I can't right. do there it. There we go. This is. Yeah, there you go. There's it. Nice. JD slash. Nice. I don't know. Okay. Has never seen the howling. Seven. Oh, is Harley. that true? Is there even a part seven? Yeah, there is. Yeah, it's I, the best one. How do you know I haven't seen it? I heard it was the worst one. So. No, I love it. You know okay. what's really weird is I've seen, like, the strangest, like, all of the parts. Like, I've seen all of the Psychos but Psycho. Like, all of them but the Psycho. I've seen Psycho 2, I've seen Psycho 3, but I've not seen Psycho. I've seen the Psycho remake, but not Psycho. Oh, and I've also seen trash. all of the Amityvilles. All of him, even the one with the evil lamp, but I haven't seen all the howlings, I guess. Uh, I feel well, like I probably have. I know, and once you kind of get into it, you feel committed to just, you know, you it's it's like you have to just keep. I don't feel that way. I do. Uh, there's only really one series that I feel that way about. Evil Dead? Well, yeah, but that was more of a trilogy. Okay. Like uh, Friday the 13th. Just watch them fucking all. Mm. Do you have a, do you have a, like a series that you like to watch? Like, yeah. Um, yeah. The Howling? Police, Police Academy. Police Academy. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. That's a good one. Uh, you won bonus points with me right there. Excellent. <laughs> yeah. I've only seen one. But I lie. It was a lie. But you've yeah, seen you're... that one 80 times. Have you seen yeah. the yeah. newest uh, Super Troopers? That was no, actually... No, I haven't. Do. It's really good. It's actually really good. Now, um, Velvet and Janie Slash are the ghost babes. Yes. Yeah, and more on that a little bit later. But we're just gonna. I like how yours is Ghost Babe and mine's us. Like I haven't seen the Howling Part Seven. Like what? What kind of call out no, is that? No, 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 we have other call outs. We we, we cycle <laughs> through them. What? What happened? Call out me. Oh. <laughs> title. Yeah, title. Yeah. Hey, there we are. We are here at the lovely On Air Media Studios in Dallas, Texas. Thank you for supporting the Corpse Paint Show. We hope you get what you deserve. But please check us out on YouTube as well. YouTube as well. We have a great channel and we'd love you to subscribe. Hey, Max. Yeah. Okay. So 
um, Janie Slash is going to be in San Antonio. Is that where Nosferatu Festival is? I don't. I'm, I'm going to be in San Antonio. I, I don't know. I thought that's where, where. I don't know. When am I going to say I'm going to New Orleans? For Nosferatu. But... I'm not thinking about May right now. I'm thinking about that's March. In Austin. Oh, it's Austin. In Austin. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yes. I don't know where you're. Like, you, you should check your stuff. I'm impressed you that Max. There. I'm impressed that Max is aware and knows about are Nosferatu. You, are you friends of the Gore Noir magazine? Yeah. Yeah. Well, great. Yeah. We'll associate on Facebook, but I don't know if we're friends. I don't know, like, if he asked me if they borrow five bucks, if I would trust them. And <laughs> but we'll associate it on Facebook. And I've yeah, seen. Yeah, see, you got the called out. Nosferatu is in Austin. Yeah. How many? It's the very last weekend of May. Okay. Look, how many police academies are there? Eighteen. N no. <laughs> <laughs> there's two that I've watched. That's about it. I think that there's six. What? <laughs> yeah. Better get on it, Velvet. I guess I gotta watch the rest of it. They have a new one coming out, actually, through Cinestate. Did you guys see that? What? No? Yeah, it's, This um, is the best news called, ever! It's, it, they changed the name to no. Try to Cross Concrete. Oh, I gotta look this it's up. A, it's a soft Police Academy reboot with Mel Gibson and Vince Vaughn. What? Wait, 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 wait. Not true. <laughs> He's pulling. He's oh, joking. Oh, I'm so... You uh, I was about to say, oh, Mel Gibson I, is still I acting? Everything. I thought his career died. Nah, yeah. Well, they obviously. all make a movie with both of those guys. Called yeah. that about two cops, but... Vince Vaughn. I, I doubt it's associated with Police Academy. It's oh, okay. not. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. No. They rebooted Puppet Masters, and maybe they'll rebooting... Police Academy. Look, 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 Fangoria, I, I don't know, whatever they want to do, we're going to let them do it. They could do it. Yeah, let do them do it. it. We support them. This is their new, <laughs> this is the Rebirth issue two. Yeah. You have it too, have, of course, Max, right? I have two issues of it. Yeah, they sent me a, We uh, have two <laughs> issues too. <laughs> I have so, my own issue and he has his own issue. Max, yeah, so. How, I subscribed to it, but they, then they also sent me a copy because they nice. printed a, a section of my book at the end. Oh. Awesome. Oh, that's uh, right. Yes. Yeah. Hey, Max, uh, how far back do you go with Fangoria? Was this something you you were definitely into as a kid? It was. Yeah. Um, it was a like an exotic magazine. I would sometimes see at the grocery store, and most of the time, we uh, I could not get it because it was too expensive. But if I caught it like on payday, I could convince my mom and dad to get me a copy, and I would just flip through the pages for weeks on end. Yeah, it was like the best day ever to get yeah. Fangoria, the new one, in your hands, you know? I would bring it to school, and they would go, ah, it's disgusting, and I would go, isn't it great, though? And they would disagree <laughs> with me. See? You're just like us in this room. All of us have had that same experience, you know? People like, oh, you're disgusting. Look at what you're reading. Yeah, I'm always us. being told that, like, especially at, uh, like, playgrounds and mcdonald's like, oh, that guy's <laughs> come on oh, we'll him around I don't, I don't i don't get it but hey you have a badass website and it says something about being a shithead or did, did i get that wrong excuse me Sil. okay I'm, i i apologize Russ. no no no. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, no, 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 no 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 you all correct it's a it's called justin nettle shithead is the... there it is see yeah okay oh my god i need to update that website August 2018. <laughs> okay, well, that's all right. Look, but but the point is there. Fangoria has acquired a new, yeah, your uh, werewolf novel. Yeah. Carnivorous Lunar Activities. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and all those events that were listed on my website have gone and passed. So if you're excited about going to those events, you're too late. <laughs> yeah, okay. already. Well, uh, are we your next event, February 23rd? Uh, I believe I am doing an event in Austin on the 19th at Radio Coffee and Beal, which will be like a, a bunch of people reading. I don't know who's all doing it yet. It's not, nothing's official at the moment. But after okay. that, yes, I will be doing Deep Bellum. Well, this event in Dallas is dedicated just to you. Yeah, so it's a Max Booth event. It is a Max That's Booth exciting. event. It is a Fangoria Max Booth event. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to. I'll be doing a reading from the book. I'll be doing a Q&A with Preston Fossil after we fight. Uh, my, I have a friend 
who um, lives in a dumpster, usually called the Trash Real Wolf. He's going to be coming to open the event. He will be reading poetry. All right. So that should be fun. Yeah, he he likes. He's kind of a depressed guy. He he loves writing poetry, and most of it's bad, but it'll be entertaining, maybe. <laughs> now he's not the uh, werewolf that's over your right shoulder, there, uh, is he? I, I see someone next to you. No, it isn't a exact replica, though. Oddly okay. enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, I uh, this is so cool. A, a werewolf, a werewolf story, yeah. updated. Yeah, and, and look, I'm really curious as to what is going to transpire with Ted, and does he do it, and also, you know, hey. Oh, I'll tell you. Ready? Um, no, don't okay. tell us. Jane? Don't tell us. Don't tell us. We can, we can definitely have the book in our hand on the 22nd or 23rd of I'm February. I'm going to read it. I'll tell everybody at the event, so they don't have to buy a copy. Oh. No, 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 no. Is this we... how you do events? I don't know. <laughs> do you tell them everything that happens before they buy it? You know, I'd be okay with that. See, look, if I'm reading a movie review and it tells me in detail a bloody, gory scene that's that's in the movie, I still want to see it visually. Reading yeah. it, reading it is, is not the same. I still want to see it. So I'm okay with a spoiler. I think we should read, everybody in America, rethink spoilers. Let's just spoil everything. Name a movie, let's spoil it. <laughs> Police Academy. Uh, they probably... Uh, Abuse the authority and face no consequences. Uh, yeah. yeah, that is a yeah. very succinct, uh, accurate representation. Of that yeah, thank you. Entire franchise. Um, <laughs> sin City. Uh, they commit sin in the city. <laughs> wow. Lots of sinning. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they sin. <laughs> the two Simply. girls, the two girls to my right, are part of Deadly Sins Burlesque. So they're into that sinning and we're also into the sinning. Yeah, they're into Excellent. sinning and also the especially and the deadly. And we like performing sin. in the city. So, whoa! Yeah. So, did you write Sin City? No. Oh, they, damn. they wrote Sex in the City. I mean, if I could be Jessica Alba, I'd be okay with that. But no, you don't want to be her. She doesn't get films anymore. Oh, that's true. Like I get yeah. so many films. I mean, look at me. I'm well, in so many movies. Oh, my Were gosh. you in Police Academy? Yes. Totally. I thought I recognized yeah. you. Okay, yeah, she was cool. in the Mission to Moscow. I don't even uh, think she was born yet when the first movie came out. Probably not. <laughs> is, there, is there a police academy in space yet? Little. No. Yeah. No, but Wait, there's a leprechaun in space. No, I just checked. No, there's not. It was there's called not. Uh, no. Police Academy 8, Pluto Nash. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's only six of them, but good try. I'm looking at Wikipedia right now. No. no yeah, and if it's Wikipedia is 100% accurate. It is so accurate. I was on IMDb. So I, mean, uh, I use Wikipedia as a resource. Oh, wait, for my Ziggy has a question. Hang papers. on. <laughs> yeah, so I've got a I've got a question about uh, kind of your process for for writing the book, uh, Max. So yeah. did did you start out knowing that specifically you wanted to tell a vamp uh, a werewolf story, or did you kind of start with more of you wanted to tell a story and then you picked werewolves as the best way to convey that? I would say the second one in this case, I wanted to write something that took place in one room and it was only dialogue. The original draft actually was only dialogue and featured nothing else. Then later on I went back and added more of a prose narrative to it. Uh, I, I needed someone to be chained into a basement. I knew that. I know I wanted I knew I wanted him to be convincing someone else to shoot him. And it seemed logical to have him be shot with a silver bullet. So why would someone shoot someone with a silver bullet? Because they are a zombie. <laughs> It's it's a it's a gripping, it's easy to read, and it's a fun read. So we Thank you. we give thumbs up to carnivorous lunar activities. Look, it's blood moon tonight. Yes. This is this is this is our night. This is it. All of us here dressed in dark. You're going to the church later tonight. Yeah, I am. And Max, we don't mean that in a traditional sense. No, it's a goth club in Dallas. <laughs> oh, so am I. I'm going to a hotel. Same oh. thing. Oh. Oh right. So yeah. is it a werewolf event? No, it's just my job. I do the night shift at a hotel. Oh, gotcha. All right. Yeah, well, all right. Not, you had not, me going there. Sorry to be a disappointment. Yeah. No, you're not, man. Maybe I'll be sacrificed to a blood moon. I don't know. That'd be cool. That look, could be fun. Look, yeah. here, here, here's one thing we haven't touched on. There are werewolf groups in Dallas. I'm sure of it. 
in Texas. We have a vampire group. I have a friend that identifies as a werewolf. Can, can you can you text him right now and, and invite him over? No, she won't come out. Oh, no. she, oh okay, it's not dark enough. Or, <laughs> <laughs> it's not dark is, enough. Is she freaking out tonight? Like, oh my god, what am I gonna do? She's busy uh, doing carnivorous winter activities. Oh, she uh, got time for you, oh. Jay or Satan? Yeah, yeah. Getting drunk at a steakhouse. <laughs> <laughs> Ordering steaks rare. Yeah. Hey, guess what, Max? Uh, let me see. Um, whoa, that's surprising. <laughs> we have I, not even say that out loud. No, it's okay. Go ahead. We're we allow anything on the show. I'm not allowed uh, to say not something. Anything. Not anything. Oh, dang it! <laughs> what no. can we not say? say well, it. no. We, okay, we can say it all, but we just can't act it out. That's well, the... no, we can't say it all. Come on, no. there, there's we got to like... keep followers somehow. Yeah, yeah. Hey, speaking of followers, we have a new network that, and we, we actually try and put our show out on various platforms. Yeah. And we like having more platforms. And so it's up on the upper left of the screen. It's Chop Block TV. Hello oh. and hails to Chop Block. Thank you for helping us along. So That's the new uh, smart TV app thing that we're on, right? Yes. Yeah. You have yeah. to have a smart TV in order to watch it, right? Well, well, hold on. You, no, no, no. This one is is live now on their Facebook page. Oh, yeah. okay. And uh, but they're partnering with us to distribute, and they have a lot of viewers and a lot of gotcha. Yeah, so, gotcha. Yeah. So Max, we're just trying to get the word out on carnivorous lunar activities. Yeah. As far as possible. Okay. What do you want to know about it? I will answer any question about any topic. <laughs> Uh, the names Ted and Justin sound yes. very modern. Is the setting present day? Yeah, it takes place in 2017, which is when I read it. Okay, is, okay. is it is it in Michigan? No, it takes place in Hammond, Indiana, which is a real town. And the mm -hmm. address is 209 Goslin Street, which is a real address my uh, grandma used to live at. I don't know who lives at it now, but... Does it have a? Does it have? I a, list the address in the book, so well. Does it have a basement? It does. Yes. the The layout of the house and the book is the exact layout of the actual house. And the house that's on the front cover, the the one that's like emphasized, is what it looked like. I found a screen grab on Google Maps and I sent it to Fangoria and I said, "Draw this." All, all I remember is the, uh, the the werewolf and the teeth. Now, all right, uh, hold on. There's a house here? Oh, okay, in the foreground. Yes. I got gotcha. you. So, so what you're saying, Max, is essentially you have written a, a primer for grand larceny for one very specific <laughs> address in the United States. <laughs> yeah, I even list how to get in because one of the locks was faulty, so... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> So be, I'm sure they've changed the locks someone since someone dies, then, yeah. I, don't, I don't think so because, you know, I'm just, it would be like, oh, this is how you can buy a gun on the black market. I'm not saying go buy one. I'm saying this is how you can do yeah, it. Yeah, we're not saying do that. Yeah, this is how you could buy a silver bullet on eBay. <laughs> the information is available. Now, have you, how, no. how do you, how did you find out about all this information? Have you done this personally? <sighs> no. <laughs> <laughs> of course not. Of course not. No. <laughs> Max, did you grow up in the north? Yeah, I'm from Indiana, um, a small town called Lake Station, which is close to Hammond. It's, and and it's, um, did, up close, like a 60 minute drive to Chicago. That's the tip yeah. top of Indiana. Gotcha. And so you um, were sometimes on Lake Michigan beaches. Do I have that right? I, no, I don't go to beaches. Oh, okay. I don't. I don't have the body. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, no. I mean, the in in the story, he finds an anchor on the beach of Lake Michigan. Yeah, he steals one from a fishing ship that is There's just abandoned for some no, no. reason. All right, Janie Slash, looking at me because she thinks that's a spoiler. It's not. Um, it's a it's no. a throwaway gag. But no, she's like, I'm just gag. laughing because it's like breaking in, theft, ordering things off of eBay, buying weapons. No, no, no. and then and then and then he's got an anchor. He's got a fucking anchor. I want an anchor in my house. No, I read around. that. And I thought no, no. no this no. is no. a no. heavy ass anchor that you need a truck to transport yeah, to your home. Yeah, where are you gonna put that in our house? Yeah, you're right. You have a basement. No. You know what? Not We're in Texas, Texas, man. I mean, there's. I think there's only twelve houses in in 
in Dallas that have basements. Look, and, and he keeps buying coffins. We have one in our backyard. We have one. <laughs> we have one in house. the hearse. We have one in the hearse. We have one and in the garage. Like we. No, there's no room for it. Well, anything. you won't have to, like, buy You have to get rid of some of your coffins. When something close dies, you just have one. You know, it's not, you know, <laughs> having a hearse is like having a truck, you know, when somebody needs a body moved or they, yeah. like, they're like, they call you first and you're like, no, no, you can't use my hearse for that. Hey, hey Max, here's what I'd like to do. I'd like to inv truck. invite our friend, uh, Brandon from Corpse Factory, to dress up in his werewolf costume for your book signing. Okay. And then, and then you and Brandon jump in the hearse with me. I'll bring the hearse, and we'll all go driving around. Janie Slash should be there too, right? We won't yeah. all fit in the hearse. There's where, where are you putting me? In the back? Well, we have to put the werewolf in the back. I hope Brandon. I mean, somebody's got to be in the coffin. <laughs> Feel free to put me in the coffin. You know, I sleep coffin really well in me. coffins. I think this could be a good a, a good promo for the book. We'll drive around in a hearse you with know, a werewolf. You uh, know, werewolves don't typically drive around mm -hmm. in hearses. No. How do you no. know that? Because I just feel like that's not a thing. Don't, like, what about, um, was it Wolf Cop? Suspend your disbelief. This is a, a fictional okay. novel. This is a novel. Have you not seen the, the Scooby-Doo episode of Wacky Races? <laughs> Did you I'm just sure say the... Wacky Racist? Races. Races. Oh. <clears throat> I think there's a hearse in that, along with an ambulance and another type of truck. And Yes. My friend Ben just pre-ordered yeah, your day. book. Hey, oh, wait, 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 say room. that again louder. My, the microphone goes to Velvet Mystique. Oh, what? Oh, <laughs> my friend Ben just pre-ordered your book. Wow. Thank you, Ben. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank he, you, Ben. He said he's looking forward to the irredeemable dick jokes <clears throat> in the book's description. <clears throat> Excellent. Yeah, there's plenty of them. Yes. Dick one, jokes one, and... One, one a page. Look, let's, let's be clear. If you're into werewolves, horror or comedy, order, pre-order this book right now on Amazon or where, where should they, where, where's your preference that they go, Max? Um, uh, any indie bookshop. So go to IndieBound.com and type in the name of the book and the zip code you live in and it should help you uh, find a local bookshop that can pre-order it for you. But if you can't, Amazon is fine. Barnes & Noble is fine. Um, it doesn't matter too much to me as long as you buy it. Yeah, there you I, go. I like right. that your first response was support local small bookstores. Agreed. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, we should have done, I should have done my background on this. Maybe you can go to Deep Vellum's website and pre order. I don't know. I, they're you a, know, I, did, they're going to have copies there. Oh, yeah. Sure, of right? course. Yeah. yeah. I of hope course. so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine if they don't. That would be awful. Well, Preston would be very mad because he will want people to buy this now, book. If, do, they, <clears> do they have them sign extra copies so you can keep them in stock if they want to buy them? Like yeah, you do book sometimes, signings? sometimes they do that at book signings. I yeah. know that well, uh, Max, Dark, do. Dark yeah. Delicacies did that because I got a Bruce Campbell book that was autographed and I wasn't there for the autograph signing, but they do that. Mo like, it's really cool when they have that opportunity. Most bookshops tend to do that, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. I like that. Because you, know, you can't always make it to the book signing, but maybe you're like, hey, I really would like this book signed by the author. It's pretty freaking awesome. Yeah. Right after the fact. Thumbs up to Deep Vellum Books. Mm -hmm. yeah. They're independent, small independent, right in the heart of Deep Ellum. And, and they're a neat little bookshop. Uh, every every fun event I've been there for has been a Fangoria event, but I'm, I know that they do other things too, but I'm just saying. So. That's all they do. <laughs> That's it. It's just, they're just Fangoria. <laughs> so Fangoria, we love, and, and you know, they're, look, they're putting out films, they're putting out books, and they're putting out audio books. And so I really like that too. Yeah. <clears throat> They said for, at Friday night's event, they don't want any movies with CGI. They're all about, you know, self -creative. Makeup and, yeah, yeah, set design. Yeah. I appreciate those movies a lot. I think Silent Hill is one of my favorite horror movies because most of it, they did use CGI, but most of it, like the monsters and stuff, were purely makeup on people. And I think that's, like, the coolest thing ever. Mm -hmm. So... And that movie looks great. Yeah. Yeah. I loved it because they made the CGI just for the atmosphere and just to bring out details. Mm -hmm. But other than that, it was all makeup and set design. And I thought that was like the coolest thing ever. And they only used like CGI on a monster at the very end with the barbed wire. And that was it. I love barbed wire. Cool. So it was pretty cool. So I have another question for you, Max. Uh, okay. When the audiobook of Carnivorous Lunar Activities gets made, who would be your dream cast to voice it? Uh, Paul Giamatti. Perfect. Not Nicolas Cage? 
No. Nicholas Cage would be a good okay. one. Okay. <laughs> Nicholas Cage should voice everything. Okay. <laughs> but Max, uh, all right. So can Ziggy and I howl at the moon in the background if you need that in the audio version? I would say yes. Does Ziggy want to do that? Did you just volunteer Ziggy? Yeah, me something? and Ziggy, we have to do it tandem. You, you yeah, I don't really know if him. you need a smoker's howl. <laughs> hey, it could be sexy. You don't know. But, what would uh, a smoke? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like you knew I was going to ask. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, so, wouldn't it be? Man, I, I, I mean, hey, with Fangoria, you're at a, you're a good family. And, you know, let's just hope that, that it's got legs and just keeps on running. And maybe there's more to come of carnivorous lunar activities. I hope so. You know, I mean, they they bought the film rights, so I mean, let's hope something happens with that. Let's hope Man, I, everybody gets excited and like, hey, why don't you make a movie of it? And they go, oh, you know what? Maybe we should. Maybe yeah, we should. Well, b best to you, man, and best of luck on that. That would be fantastic, Max. And and um, yeah, heck yeah. Well, I'm gonna light a candle for you tonight outside on the roof with the full moon. I feel like that's a bad idea. Please don't be lighting candles on our roof. Okay, but what if it was a fake fire? The f like one of those LED Yeah, it'd be flame. LED. Oh my god. It'd gosh. be a flickering. No. So uh, instead of being a werewolf, it'd be like a f um, mm, fake wolf. Yeah. Mm, so. that, mm, it's weird. This You're is weird. one of the nights where you should spend time on your roof if you can. If you fall off of the roof, I'm not driving the emergency room because I have to get up early in the morning. Oh, okay. So <laughs> Just gonna put that out there. True love. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Max, um, all right. So, what else is on your calendar, on your mind? And and obviously, obviously, this book right now is super exciting, and it's got to feel great. But you know, I just I want to open it up to you. If there's anything else we haven't touched on. Um. Okay. Yeah, I can talk a bit about what kind. Of, I have a kind of a confusing and personal background with wolves that I don't talk about about a lot online because people don't know how to react that well to it. All right. So, you know, like in those news, like sometimes like in tabloid magazines, you'll see raised by wolves. Like you yeah. find a baby who's been raised by a wolf. Well, we're all ears. I am the inspiration for one of those headlines and... <laughs> No one talks about it. <laughs> okay. It is a, a real thing that happens. And I mean, when I tell someone, they sometimes they laugh because they don't know how to react. And sometimes they just go, whoa, man, that's fucked up. But like to me, that type of background is how, just, it was just how I was raised. So it doesn't seem that that's that odd. So basically, I mean, I, I never met my biological mom or my dad. I don't know anything about them. But when I was five, I was just scheduled on the side of a highway naked, covered in blood. I was eating from a dead skunk. Mm -hmm. but they always, <laughs> when they tell me about it, they always emphasize it was a skunk. Okay. I was just on the side of the road. I was munching away. And they, so they, they found me. And yeah. these wolves came out. And they were howling at the, the guy who found me. He was some cop. And, uh, but he quickly realized oh man i'm taking this human away from these wolves who have been raising this this human baby he, that, that's not right so you know he, he took me away and i kind of met the wolves again the, as far as i know and they put me into you know the child services until someone finally picked me up i didn't do too well in the orphanage because well i mean when you spend five years basically living as a wolf you're not gonna get along well with as little kids. I mean, I was, you know, pissing on the walls, yeah. eating, eating Pro trash, eating your there's, friends. There's no there, environment. Yeah. You can't just be forced into all these little kids who have grown up in normal society. But luckily, I didn't. I made it till about seven, and then someone was like, "Ah, I'll take this wolf baby." <laughs> Although by then I was no longer a wolf baby. I was a wolf child. Work. So this this man, uh, his name was John. I'm not going to say his last name, obviously, mm -hmm. but he took me on, and it was difficult getting along at Phil's because I'm this I'm this kid who all all he knows is wolf language. I mean, I was just howling. I, I didn't know English, um, but he was a good man, and 
to help me get comfortable with my new home, he would like he would he would dress up as a wolf around the house when it was just him and I, and we would just kind of roam around eating the trash that he had just left in random spots around the house for us to hunt. And it was he was a good man, and without him, I don't think this book would be what it is today. I don't think I would be who I am today. So I just wanted to thank you. Yeah, so we- Dad, uh, Wolf Papa Wolf, as I used to call him in my in my young old days. Papa Thank Wolf. you. All right, so so uh, we'll raise a glass of blood to John. Yes, your Papa Wolf, Wolf. Papa Wolf. Do, Papa do Wolf. wolves drink blood too? I, I'm just going there. I don't yeah. know. I'm assuming it. Yeah. I don't know, right? Not. Yeah. yeah, it's like if you take out. a bite in the flesh, you're not going to be like, ah, oh, I got blood in my mouth. You, you just drink it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you just keep going. Yeah. He was eating a skunk, and yeah. Skunk blood? Skunk blood. Skunks have blood. Do they? This is an amazing story, Max. I am I am so glad that you told it here first. Or well, may, I mean, maybe I know, we were like, second. But. Yeah, like, when I mean, you go on the show, you usually want to bring something up personal mm-hmm. that you never told anyone, mm-hmm. so I thought I would save it for this show. Yeah. yeah. Well, I feel special. I feel great. I feel werewolfed and energized. Right now. Is that really how you feel? My gosh, I'm getting excited because it's getting dark and the moon, it's blood and wolf. Blood and wolf. Big, Big wolf energy. Big energy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> I'm fucking horrified. Hey, Max. Hey. Look, if we tried all calendar of the year, the whole calendar of the year, we couldn't have picked a better night to have you on this show, brother. What about April 7th? Um, it, I would be staying up late then doing my taxes, probably. Yeah. Uh, What's April 7th? I don't know. It's just a day. <laughs> oh. It's just a day. As long as day. I don't have to do taxes. <laughs> no, I'm talking about celestial happenings. I'm talking about the rest of the universe that we are connected to. And right now, oh. that big red <laughs> moon making me have an animal attraction to Janie Slash. Oh my god, don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> this is why Velvet's between us. Whoa. True love. <laughs> I didn't know it was this type of show. I didn't either. <laughs> it is. That's why we have this big table here. This is why he's all the way on the other side of the table and Velvet's between us. <laughs> keep us I don't want to be part sense. of that. <laughs> no, you're keeping it. You're, you're like keeping it separate. I have a weapon. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Can you see that, Max? Yeah, I can see that. It wow. Is, yeah, it's sharp, too. It's wow. levitating your way. Oh. <laughs> hey, Max. Thank you, man. Does he have man. a lower um, third? <laughs> he needs one. Velvet Mystique Ghost Babe. With the haunted baby doll. Oh, never mind. Not to clarify, I am not a ghost. Ah. I just okay. like ghosts. No, so I'm a ghost. Wait, you look transparent. <laughs> You're a you ghost. Babe. I look transparent. Go- Excuse you. You're so white. A ghost loving babe. <laughs> so white. I'm too. glowing. I'm not transparent. I'm glowing. You are. Yes. I was putting blush on because I was glowing too, and she's like, "Give me some of that." <laughs> I was like, "Okay." Yep. Hey Max, um, hey. I look forward to meeting you, man. And thank <laughs> you, thank you for writing a, a horror comedy. Uh, you know, wonderful horror novel. Horror comedies and- are so fun. <clears throat> And I, I, I wish you all the best with Fangoria and your book coming out next month, Carnivorous Lunar Activities, Max Booth the Third, and which, you know, yeah, I had to bring up Howling the Third. It just reminded me of it. You know, it did. Yeah, so, definitely. Yeah. Thank you for having me come on. Uh, I look forward <laughs> to meeting two of you next month. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Sorry. yeah. We can, we can, we can like uh, Skype Velvet in. We can Skype Velvet. I may be the same as you meeting her right now, but you'd yeah. be closer. At least you'd be in the same city. That's true. true. But remember, That's Max, when you, ju- when you jump in the hearse, we can drive over. We're not taking the hearse. We'll drive over to Velvet's uh, performance happening. at Sue Ellen. You could. Okay. You have fun okay. parking that hearse out there. Max, it, in. Max it's as <laughs> big as a boat. It, we need an anchor oh, no, in that it, hearse. Uh, it's, it, in the, it's not in Deep Ellum. Oh, no. It's, it's on Cedar Springs. Oh, no, Springs. I know, yeah. but Deep Vellum is it, it's oh, Deep yeah. Vellum, yeah. And yeah. trying to park that and then taking it to Cedar Springs. Um, oh, yeah. Be crazy trying to get that over there. We'd have to Uber. When we park it, we have to from put... From Deep Vellum to... We have yeah. to put money in two meters. There's going to be no parking. <laughs> so, <geez. laughs> it's huge. Um, 
Hey, Max, thanks a bunch for, for joining us, man, and uh, and being part of our show and being a, a fun, cool guy. And um, yeah. all, all the best with you and, your, and the book, and we'll see you next month. Thank you. See you then. Thanks again. Thanks, Max. Bye. Bye. Bye, Max. So cool and fun. Yeah, here's what, here's what we're going to do. We have a quick transition, and then I want to talk about all those... Um, that was the Skype call ending, Janie. I got excited. <laughs> I was like, woo, woo. I was like, woo. I, We're going to do a cool um, a movie trailer. Weird shit has been happening since we started talking about ghost babes. So I don't know, like noises. And I'm no, just it like, has, Bella. Oh. It has. Are they squirrels in your attic? No, it's leaky pipes. Ooh. <laughs> it's just pipes. It's, it's pipes. pipes. The pipes. <laughs> And it's the floor. <laughs> pretty soon we're going to talk about Valentine gift ideas for those who are dark-hearted and evil. What? I like that. Yeah. That wasn't that's what us. I said. I said for your favorite ghoul. Jeez. Right. All right. Well, all right. For those what do who you are think of those who are dark-hearted. Ghost or ghoul. For those who embrace the darkness, we have great ideas for you for Valentine's Day you're, and Jamie Slash is going to show. Ghosts babe. <laughs> Ghost babe. All right. So Right now, we want to transition with a trailer for a movie that we are doing an event for next month. This is the full trailer for, finally, we get to see the full trailer for Lords of Chaos. And we're going to transition to that, talk more about it, and come back with Janie Slash and all the fun gift ideas. Uh-huh. Here I am, an average teenager, you may think. But you couldn't be more wrong. I am the founder of Mayhem, the most infamous black metal band in the world. We are the Lords of Chaos. You guys suck. Mom, tell her to get out. Life was easy back then. It was all about having fun, drinking beer, and playing hard and loud music. And then everything changed. Var. The Lone Wolf. I hereby appoint you bass player of Mayhem. We have to take this to the next level. But you said it yourself. We should burn them all down. If you do this, we're free. You did it. A terror has swept across Norway. The police have described the murder as extremely violent. Either you do it for the cause and you take action, or you do it because you want attention. We can't have it both ways. The suspect known as the Count has You revealed. pretend to be my friend so you can hit me off guard? Why do you care about him so much? I thought you were true Norwegian black metal. I invented it. And now you betray it. No. You had this dream, this vision. You were in control. You were a leader. You could still be all of those things if you wanted to. Everyone around you are disgusting little incense. Let's go! Hi, pal, it's Dad. We're going to the summer house, and we would love it if you come. So it's a Jonas Eckerlin film. If there are Lords of Chaos, are there Ladies of Chaos? You need I to would them. hope so. <laughs> Can I be Scott Fiera is one of them. Chaos? But look, Jonas made Pussy by Ramstein. If you've seen that video. He also yeah, has made yeah. music videos for for numerous bands. Yeah, I, I heard I heard a full Ramstein set today. Here at one while filming. Oh some right. Smart films. Been, Was it one of the other bands? Um, uh, it, it's uh, even Taylor's band Man, from great. Manifesto. Yeah. Crop, crop, crop style. They're playing tonight. The oh clubs. right. They're in okay. Dallas. Go yeah. to the Curtain Club tonight. I think it's eight dollars. Good heads up. They sound fucking amazing. They sound just like Ramstein. Like, it was amazing because I heard their uh, their set like they were doing the rehearsal the, the story of um you know the lies and and truth of true Norwegian black metal Lords of Chaos now I do want to get to all of your gift ideas Janie Slash for the dark hearted but while we're on this let's yeah, bring up going. the the event that is 
February 21st at the Texas Theater. Exactly a week after <laughs> Valentine's Day. Yep. Yeah, exactly a week after. So we're, you can go. We're co-hosting this. Uh, the Court Saint Show is co-hosting this. Uh, Lords of Chaos, Closing Night, True Norwegian Metal, After Party. So they'll screen the film, mm -hmm. and then um, I'm DJing afterwards as DJ Satan, playing black metal uh, all night. So tickets available soon. I'll, I'll keep posting more information on uh, how to get tickets for that screening, too, on Thursday, February 21. And if you're not familiar with the band Mayhem, you should definitely look them up and find out a little bit of their backstory. Of course, Lords of Chaos is, but they, it's a very interesting... History, history of the band. Especially their form, like their lead singer at the yeah. time. And oh, uh, last podcast on the left does a really great <clears throat> th uh, three-part series on Norwegian black metal, uh, specifically Mayhem and the Church Burnings. All so. right. Le heads up. Yeah. Last podcast on the left. They're covered here also in this Fangoria issue. Mm -hmm. So let's look at the other images too. And that is, <clears throat> hey, do you see what it says? Foster's Wayward Wolves. Maybe yep. I'm John. Maybe I'm his father. Uh, no, you're not. Dumb. That's weird. Okay. All right. So there's that um, <laughs> that movie poster with uh, Rory Culkin, and the the uh, that is the uh, CD cover of uh, the history of cult music, which is a which is a cool CD release, double CD release too. Yeah. And then there's a movie poster as well that kind of looks like that too, with the church burnings. And yeah. Isn't there a book too? Yeah, and in fact, that's the cover that looks just like that too. Yeah. yeah. Like they have the same cover for everything. Yeah. We also mentioned Nosferatu Festival, and I, I wanted to give Ziggy a heads up just to show that that image as well. I know that's later in the year, but you're going to it in Austin, um, Janie Slash, right? Yeah, we're going. I think it's, it's a week after Punk Rock Bowl. Are you guys both going? Uh, or, I, I, d I did not know about this. Well, we haven't talked about it. Oh, okay. Yeah, we okay, about I'm yet. sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> I just posted I was going because I will be in town. And I was like, I should go support my friend. But looks good. That's in Austin. Yeah, it'll be fun. I think it'll be fun. Yeah. And, and then don't forget, like, since we're naming stuff in July, is our sponsor, of course, Factory, is putting on a convention at the uh, Mesquite Convention Center. Center. Mm -hmm. That's at on end our of July. birthday. Yeah, end of like July. July, end of July, like 27th. Next yeah. week is at Gas Monkey Live. On Thursday of next week is the Great Ensiferum um, gig with Septic Flesh and Arsis. And there it is right there. That is at Gas Monkey in Dallas, uh, January 24th. Yeah. Heck yeah. That is going to be a good night. Looking forward to it. Janie Slash. Yes. Er, 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 er. Black metal. Now, for those people who embrace the darkness, and I mean really embrace the darkness, and let's say that you have someone in your life that you have feelings for. I'm pretty sure this is my segment and you're introing it wrong. A am I introing it wrong? You're making it sound like something. I've been just saying the Valentine's Day is coming up, and if you have a special lady in your life that may not like that likes the unconventional, it maybe dwells on the darker side. Or of boys, things. or boys. Or boy. But I don't have a list for boys because I don't know what boys want. They, That's they want. Generally. I think we all know what boys want. I know what I give for Same Valentine's Day every year. I'm, I'm sure guys like chocolate just as much as women do. I'm sure. I get what you're saying, but I feel like yeah. that's a list that Satan should make. All right, fair enough. Now, yeah, Janie time. Slash, you yeah. did a great intro on that. Well done. So what? I'm just saying for the cool in your life. Go for I it. I just have a few ideas because you know it's right around the corner. And also, before I start, if you're in Dallas, you should come out to Duke's Ice House on Valentine's Day because we will be putting on a burlesque show. Hell yeah. Yeah, it's free. You get to see these two ladies on stage in person mm -hmm. in Addison, Texas on Valentine's Day. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So anyway, we'll get to my list of a few ideas that I've put together for various things for, I, I think, that maybe your unconventional goal might like. Love it. Yes. So we'll start out with, if you like tea, the Brutality gift set. Brutality. Brutalities is a awesome independent company. They make all different types of teas, and they're named after, like, metal bands cool. or horror movies. They're pretty freaking <laughs> rad. Some of my favorites are like Night Pair on Elm Street. Mm. They also have a Krampus brew, all different types of awesome stuff. So it's pretty neat. They're doing the special gift set that you can order for, I think it's believe, through February 3rd. And they're going to send out different types of teas and they're all coming in little heart shaped containers. And you can share them with your loved one. It's like a gift for both of you. You can even buy that for, you know, your special man in your life. Would cool. you call him Ghost? Ghouls. 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 The ghoul boys and the ghost, ghost babes. Boils and ghouls. Isn't that what the Crypt Keeper used to call them? <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
Okay, right. next for chocolate. Yeah. You can get a one pound chocolate anatomically correct heart. I like this from one. From Mork's Chocolate Dot. Look at that. Right? Wouldn't one pound of chocolate get one you high? One pound of chocolate would be amazing. And it's in the shape uh, of a heart. I mean, you literally are giving her your heart. I mean, you <laughs> could also give that to a man. I mean, that goes both ways. You're right. You can, a quick question <clears throat> Do they do anatomically correct other body parts? Yes. I believe so. I also did uh -huh. see that you can get your, apparently, like, if you really want to, you can get your, what is it, your butt hole? Yeah, you can get an imprint of your butthole an imprint chocolate. Of Look, your there butthole we go. Chocolates. You can get chocolate, chocolate brains. brains. They have three-dimensional chocolate skulls. So maybe if a heart's not your thing and you want to buy her a skull, go for it. <laughs> or him. There is a confectionery in Cape Cod, in Provincetown, Cape Cod, that actually makes chocolates in the shape of genitalia. I've All seen right. those too. And yes. I and it was great. Fantastic. Oh, great uh, job. Do, so, do you eat them? <clears throat> yes, you, you do eat them. We yeah. went and to... do you enjoy eating them, Velvet? <laughs> Which part? <laughs> well, we, at Texas Frightmare Weekend, uh two two years ago. Is it two or three years? Two years ago. Billy Pond, director of Circus of the Dead, which is a great movie. If you haven't seen it, check the fuck out. Now watch it. Uh he likes to give out little goodies and he gave out Chocolate penises and chocolate boobs. Ooh. But they were like little. They yeah. were like little. They were like truffles. They bite were delicious. Size. Rain ate all mine, so I didn't really get to eat them. That's my favorite bite sized titties. But yeah, they were like little <laughs> they were like little boobs in, in penises. Mm. And I was like, oh, huh, it's a bag of dicks. Yeah. And a bag of boobs. Bag of dicks, bag of tits. It's great. Velvet loves bite sized titties. That's what she said. <laughs> On, on that topic. Love it. They weren't, anyway. they weren't like life size. They so mean. anatomically correct heart, it weighs a pound, you said? It's a pound of chocolate. It's, pound, it's solid. It's right, right? It's solid chocolate. It is. Yes. Might not be enough to get you high, but it is enough to kill a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let yeah, your dog eat that. Yeah. Hey, anybody, uh, quick fact. Uh, anybody know the movie where the person feeds their dog a heart? Mm, it's There's a, a lot of movies and novels. Mm. Balto. But... No. 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 Old Yeller. I just watched Balto. No, it's no. not in Balto. No. It's Balto not. 2. <laughs> anyway. All right. Let's throw Fun this question fact, out. If you can answer yeah. that question and get it right, send it to um, stilldemon.gmail.com Stil Stil and we'll send you a prize. We'll send you this right here. It is We Are Now the Distributor for Metal Legion Magazine and in we'll, the USA. And if, you, if nobody answers it in a week, then I'll give you the answer next Sunday. Then she'll give me the prize. I'll give her mm -hmm. the prize. We have, and some, we have some awesome goodies from Corpse Factory, or we can send you a Metal Legion. Camera. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it all started so again, here. That is what movie, and there's only one I'm thinking of. Is Homeward it? Bound. No, it's not Homeward Bound. <laughs> Damn, that's a good movie that we were it's talking about no, the no. other day. I, there's like, what is it, a Dog's Life or something that's coming out? Old like, Yeller. Make this? And it was called a Homeward Bound, and it was Look, better. Hachi, a dog's tail. <laughs> <laughs> a dog's tail. That is awful. Janie Slash, I know you <laughs> got more on this gift list. Okay, and for the girl that loves jewelry. <laughs> jewelry. Because you know, some girls love jewelry. We have Coffin Gems support, you know, Etsy. The Coffin Gems. You can buy her mm -hmm. a necklace, a pennant, and a coffin ring. And I believe they make them for men, too. So, you know. Yeah, they have, uh, they have cufflinks there. Yeah. And a so tie you, lapel. You see, look, I, I happen to tie in men, too. So it's cool. But yeah, so, Coffin Gems. Wait, 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 what's the tie tack? What is it? That's that's a lapel pin or a, a tie tack. Pin. Yeah. Tie tack. Okay, gotcha. You can use it for Do you want work. one? Is that what you want for No, 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 no. I don't need a tie tack. Do thing. you have no. a fancy suit? You need to put it. Attack on. You need a pair we of went to the screening links. for Fangoria <laughs> magazine on coffee. Friday, and he comes out like wearing a tie and. Taking pictures, and I'm like, I look like this. Yeah. Minus the awesome beret, I didn't have that yet. <laughs> so I've been rocking it. Yeah, you're rocking. Okay. It. And then for the ghoul that loves purses and mm -hmm. bags. You can go to CorpseFactory.com and check yes. that out. Corpse yes. Factory. All right. Yeah. Yes. Okay. There we they go. They have all kinds of purses. You can get them from Creepsville 666. They have Alchemy. They have all sorts of amazing different types of brands. Rock Rebel. You can get a coffin bag. You can Skull get that heart. awesome goat bag. I like the one with the crow in front Raven. of the moon. Yeah. Hey, for me, it's always a crow. All right. It's never oh, a raven. Uh, I gotcha. have that. The goat head I purse bag. Okay. And remember, they have free shipping. Yep. So oh, yeah. Order nice. now. Okay, and look, speaking of Corpse Factory, mm -hmm. to your right is Living Dead Doll. They have things like that as well. Janie Slash. Yes. Mm -hmm. I like that one. You can buy a lot of things. You really couldn't get anything for men or women off of 
Factory.com. Yeah, hold, hold that up again. We just want, yeah, there we I've go. I've been holding it up the whole time. There you go. Yeah. You asked me to. Cool. What's next on your okay. list? And then also for the gold that loves clothes, also CorpseFactory.com. You can buy, they have dresses, cardigans, skirts, tea tops. They have these amazing berets now. They have lots of awesome things in selection. They also have clothing for men as well. So check them out. Mm -hmm. And then finally, for the ghoul that loves flowers and or makeup, you can go to Etsy and find this. They have these amazing skull containers and they can hold um, makeup brushes or you can put flowers in them. They're, you know, universally. You can use What's them for the name uses. of the actual vendor on there? The actual vendor is... Skull or on, something. I'm not sure. I'm yeah. looking it up right now. Bear with us. Just a uh, Tolk Factory. Okay. T-O-L-K Factory. Oh, neat. Mm-hmm. Oh, they have five stars. I think that's cool, too. Reviews. That's awesome. Jenny Slash, you could use that. You know, um, you are a professional Feel makeup free to artist. buy me any of the shit on that list. Well, as a matter of fact, I mean, let's I did make it. Let's go there. Don't you have a wish list? We do have an Amazon wish list. Now, is that for ghost babes? That is for ghost babes. We are currently putting together an Amazon wish list of all the things that we would like to have to help put on our TV show. So if yep. you want to support us, we will post our wish list on the Corpse Paint Facebook page and also on the Deadly Sins Facebook page and our personal page. And it's if you an want Amazon to follow us at link. Velvet Mystique mm -hmm. and Janie Slash. Yeah, it's a public uh, wish list link. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you want to support our show, we have some things posted to Amazon on our wish list yeah. and we'll post it. Be a part of something spooky. Yep. <laughs> it's going to happen. I love it. It's going to happen. We're super That's what excited. I put for uh, our little casting call thing is yeah. be a part of something spooky. So we, we've made our list of the places we want to visit and we've got our episodes slated. We're going to start filming in March yep. and we aim to have our first episode out by September. Yeah. And I plan on getting our Instagram up and our Facebook page up sometime in February. Mm -hmm. Called Ghost Babes? Yeah, yeah. yeah. called Ghost Babes. And uh, we're going to get photos done. It's yeah. going to be great. great so time. if you donate anything, we'll send you a little ghostly gift. Gift. Cool. Thank yeah. you. Mm -hmm. Man, can, that's yeah. awesome. Can gift. I be the shaggy? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Sure. Can I Do, drive the van? We could we could take we could take Izzy and Delilah as our as our Scoobies. Mm -hmm. Delilah yes. would be like, fuck this shit, I'm out. She'd yeah. turn around and walk out. And Izzy would try to attack your dog and I don't want that to happen. My dog would do the same thing. Yeah. They would just fight. Okay, well, they we'll might, just they, alternate. Look, funny think, enough, we showed a solution to that problem earlier on the show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But look, I think pets also have ghosts, so maybe they can help sniff out some. Can we have ghosts. a ghost hunting rat? Izzy is absolutely clueless. She would not oh. know a ghost if it booped her on the face. Oh, Delilah would okay. give no fuck. <laughs> ghost bait spinoff. Paranormal pets. For the record, Izzy, <laughs> Izzy is a corgi, and Delilah is a English bulldog. Yes, and they're both older yeah. animals, and they give no fuck. Yeah. Now, there was one more link, Janie Slash. There was one more link. Did you get to the end of the gifts? Yeah, that's the end of the gifts. Now, the one more link, we do not want you to send us this, this, this no, to what? us, but we think it's funny because I found this on Etsy as well. Check this you out. You can purchase your own haunting. Oh, yeah. It includes a real spirit, a ghost, a paranormal. And what it is is... For $49. This is on Etsy. For $49, you can buy your own haunting. Hopefully, your spirit does not look like that. Well, hold on. Are you buying a ghost? I mean, she's beautiful. Are you buying a ghost? You're buying... <laughs> Can you scroll down to the description? Yeah, that's what you're buying. Okay. Oh, God. And then uh, where's the description? The description cracks me up. And there's a review. Somebody bought one. The review kills me. Uh, always been intrigued by those haunted houses you see on television or during the month of October. It's really long. But anyway, you're buying essentially, I think it's dirt. Yeah. From yeah, from a, a gravesite or gotcha. a cemetery or their basement floor of their actively haunted end. And you're getting a ghost that has given them permission through a spirit box to and send a, them you to a, you. You get a vial of dirt. It could be a malevolent spirit or it mm -hmm. might be nice. Mm -hmm. Either way, you're, you know, you are now in charge of taking care of it. So maybe if you wanted to adopt a ghost, if that's been your lifelong goal, now, now I, you can. I only want to point out one thing on this. <laughs> This has been favorited by 40 people. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, there's, because did you, they got the joke. Did you click on the reviews? There's a review. I was I was laughing because somebody reviewed. I think it's right here. Yeah. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. I got all the instructions and everything and followed them. I also, when I lit the candle, the spirit questions to answer them by flickering the candle light or <laughs> left or right for yes or no. And it worked. It took a bit of time, but eventually it did. I will make sure the spirit is comfortable in its new environment. Oh, we right. got five it's stars. Like a Tamagotchi. That's what I said. It's like a keep Tamagotchi it alive. for like, like, oh shit, I killed my spirit. Well, look, you got Tamagotchi. a Tamagotchi. 
I can't even keep a pail <laughs> yeah. alive. Like, I know it's dead already, but Thomas what if Bunch. I piss it off? I'm really, I have a knack for pissing off spirits. Yeah. Dude, I piss off this spirits This is going to be a good series, Ghost Babes, then. I got, a, I got me and Rain locked out of our hotel room in San Antonio. Because I fucked it up. It Didn't you stay in a haunted me. house in Jefferson and then it burnt down? That was not me. <laughs> oh my god, no. I, they burnt down like that a That happens to old houses all the time. There. It was an electrical fire. Mm. I don't know. I thought it was suspicious. Because uh, they don't have the Really? That was my favorite b, &B. No, mine don't too. Don't even. No. I will I'm, throw my microphone at you. No, 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 not no, my no, equipment no, no. I'm throw. just pointing out uh, the pattern of events. No, but no. You stayed there too. Of course. Strange things did happen. Yeah, no. he left the, the gas on. <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny. Please don't do that to my friend's B and B when we go film Dude, there. No, we didn't no, do no, anything. No, we're not. No, it was just I wasn't one Molotov cocktail. When it happened. It was just one. <laughs> oh, man. you're not funny, Satan. Okay. You think you're funny, but you're not. I don't think Satan's meant to be funny. No, he's Correct. not. He tries, but he's not funny. So anyway, you can buy your own haunting. I don't want one personally. But maybe somebody wants one. Maybe you were ready to take your relation to, to a next step and you think you should adopt a ghost. I don't know. It's whatever. Or maybe you feel like your house is lonely and it could use an active spirit. Ghost babes do the internet. If you do buy it, though, <laughs> will you email us and let us know like, if it works? So mm -hmm. what you think about it? Maybe we should contact the person that left the review and see how it's going. Like, yeah. hey, how's that? You know, kind of like after the show, you know, hey, so you left that review. It's been like a year. But, 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 but if you're dead, cool? th then who's <laughs> typing the reply? <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm messaging you from beyond the grave. I mean, so, people marry ghosts all the time. Hey, they do. Satan's pirate server. Lady, the pirate, hmm. the 300, 300. There's, what? I think it's Indonesia. I'm not sure. It's some... South Asian country or island that people marry the dead. Yeah. <clears throat> Females marry dead males. Yep. Yeah. yeah. It's a common practice. You need to come back soon and report details on this. Okay. Yes. I just got to make sure that I know which country I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, sure. Kind of, kind of, you but know, I watched put a, together on. Yeah, I watched a quick documentary about it and it was pretty cool. Well, like, wasn't there a guy that married his this woman that he was supposed to marry after the fact? Yeah, because yeah. he had permission to marry her spirit yeah. or something. Yeah, and they do See? ask the okay. spirit first and all that. This Th is this, basically this sounds... to tie families together and wealth together. All right. Does so you're describing sense? a cultural practice. Yes. Th which is fascinating to me. Yeah, and they have so... the wedding at the cemetery where the person's buried, and sometimes they'll even unearth the person so they can attend the wedding. This is fascinating. Yeah. So please, yeah, uh, g gather out some info and we'll find some links or websites and, and share it here. That sounds cool. Yeah. We want the info. Hey, Ziggy, did I send you something that says event coming up at Wits End? It was a event page link. No, Max to Booth, the answer is not Police Academy. <laughs> Sorry, I had to say that. <laughs> okay. Now, look, look what's coming up, guys. Also on February 22nd. Well, actually, this is the night before uh, that, that, um, that. Uh, book signing, but look, Janie Slash, we got Rose Garden Funeral Party, The Infamous, together Ooh. at Ooh. Wits End. I like it on Friday, February <clears throat> twenty-two. That's like, yeah, I like it. This is the day before his uh, book signing. I was at Wits End last night. You were, yeah. So I mean, was I. We all were, except Ziggy. Hey, sorry, Ziggy. Whoa, there's our overhead. Overhead cam. That's it. If you weren't at Wits End last night, you missed out. That's yeah. all I have to say. So look, I was busy telling jokes. We, we have a whole new network with us, and that is Chop, Chop Block TV. So we got to explain to Chop Block what we're talking about. Here in Dallas, Janie Slash is the producer of... Witsend is a bar in Deep Ellum, which is uh, in Dallas, and we produce a show called Deadly Sons Burlesque and Sideshow. It's on the third Saturday of every month, and it's Burlesque and Sideshow. And Velvet and I are in the troop. It's and rowdy yeah. and nasty. Satan MCs it on stilts. It's Satan. Yep. And Jesus comes there sometimes. He's our MC. Jesus is in our MC. Satan's our MC. Yeah. Hey, if you're ever out, can Jesus, like, replace you? Would that be weird? Wouldn't it be? He'd make jokes all night about how he overthrew you. Like, kicked you out of the underworld. You know he would. I know. He'd just be temporary. Just kidding. So, yeah. Well, Jesus was there last night. He was, yeah. and he's always horny. Jesus, Do you notice No, that? he's not horny. You're it, horny. He's trying to save he us. Oh, I'm getting have us confused. Horns. He's trying to save us. <laughs> no, I mean, it didn't. It hasn't worked <clears> in the past. 
couple of times we performed. Velvet and I have been doing a lot of extensive research on ghost hunting shows. Oh, She's yes. She's been sending me tons and tons. Because I never watched Ghost Adventures. I've always just gone yeah. on investigations on my own. And um, especially in like also groups and things like that. Been a lot of independent investigations, but she watched a lot of television shows, <laughs> and uh, I'm sure she's, she's done investigations too, right? Yes, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. definitely. I didn't watch the television shows, yeah. but uh, she's been making me watch them, and I've been getting caught up on it, and I've been watching Ghost Adventures like fucking crazy, yeah. And then uh, BuzzFeed, uh, uh, BuzzFeed Unsolved, Unsolved, mm -hmm. and it freaking kills me. I do watch that instead of working. They do BuzzFeed Unsolved Crime, and they do BuzzFeed Unsolved Supernatural. They my, do two seasons a year. One my, season is always crime, and one season is always super. My natural. favorite is seriously when I went to Goatman's Bridge. Oh, okay. are there any horny boys here? Like that's my favorite. And he's like, "What? These like you know demons? They have horns. They have horns. I'm here for the cult stuff. I'm here for the cult stuff. Hey, demon. <laughs> I like when they did the Ouija board. Yeah, this is not a good idea. Hey, fuck you. Okay, but look, I'm dancing on your bridge. <laughs> Velvet, did you say something once about the most haunted city in Texas? Yeah, that the, well, the most haunted town in Texas is Jefferson, okay. and that's been deemed that by some sort of council or something. Oh, Apparently, okay. though, the Jefferson, council of elders. But I read, I read, <laughs> like that. I read that Jefferson has a, competi a competitor. That right. Old Town Spring is quickly coming up as one of the most haunted mm -hmm. towns in Texas I, as well. I thought it was Davis, Texas. Mm -mm. Hmm. No, not as of recently. But Ghost Babes will check them all out. And bring back the truth. And I, we've been to Jefferson countless times. It's super fucking hot. But isn't yeah. Jefferson where Steven Spielberg himself? He left. He won't come back. Claimed yeah. he saw. Uh, it was the Excelsior? Yeah, I house, think that right? helped their case for being the most haunted town. Because yeah. he's been everywhere. He, he left all his stuff. There. You have a prestigious yeah. name who claims I saw something. It was I'm a leaving little. Now. And he's a horror writer, so you know if he's scared. Well, that's it? bad. Okay, wasn't it? He got woken up by a little boy who told him breakfast was ready, and yeah. it was a ghost, and he disappeared. Right. That was in front at of the him. Excelsior Hotel, right? Excelsior. Yeah, because that's we, the nicest one in downtown Jefferson. Now, Janie slash and I have stayed it's there. It's not anymore. Oh. The con, the con is nicer. Oh, okay. If you want to know. But the con saloon is newer. Okay, but yeah. spell it. I mean, K-H-A-N, right? K-H-A-N. Yeah. Con! I knew that was going to happen. Yeah, we knew that was coming. So, I'm oh, sorry. God, my ears. That's my fault. So, uh, the Excelsior house is older. The con is, is old, too, but it's been new. It's a newer hotel, I guess. But so in Texas, there, look, it was amazing. You know, quick but overview. I didn't have any activity, but apparently it's haunted by a naked lady. There, there are. I tried naked. No lady. naked yeah, but, lady haunted all right, all right, me. Look. You know, I, I, I tried also at fucking Crescent Hotel. What is it with you and like just ghosts that are naughty, like yeah. naughty the, Irish dude, boy ghost? Oh, she wants it. I tried. Naughty he didn't naked want me. woman ghost. <laughs> Naughty maid ghost. If you tell me your house is haunted by a naked man or a lady and they're hot. I'm down. I'm there. Yeah. I'm like, hey, That's I'm it. here, guys. You see where this is going, Velvet. Like, damn, that girl turns you totally just, slutty you just, when there's a ghost that like wants to grab her ass. You just come in with an EVP recorder and you're like, how you doing? <laughs> and they just reply. <laughs> they don't want me. They no, don't. They, they do. run like no, hell. they do. Whatever. They're... I was in there in like no. room 218 and I was like, hey, I'm here. What's up? Let's, let's do this. Like grab my ass. It's okay. And he went for the girl out in the hallway and well, it's she probably because you said it was okay. It Turned him off by that point. <laughs> Try a different approach. I'm used to vampires. Yeah, the, the I'm ghost used to being like, hey, you're invited. Uh, okay yeah. I mean, I don't <laughs> well, he was an 1800s ghost. Uh, sexual assault was not a thing. He was, though. okay, so he was. Like, like, was his last name this? Weinstein? <laughs> yeah. This ghost is supposedly like known to well, push he's Irish, so it's men o out Weinstein. of the bed. Like when a, when a couple stays in that Mick room, Weinstein. he is known to shove the man out of the bed yeah. and peek at women in the shower. And like, <clears throat> like do it. Like he's just, yeah. He's like an eighteen-year-old Irish boy. I don't know. That's what they said. He's playful. But but let's be but clear. He, wasn't, in, he didn't like me. As as a quick overview, in Texas, there are plenty of antebellum homes in the South that are that are, you know that that had that had uh, that had deaths in them. Oh, that's what you mean. Okay. Pre Civil like, War like, and and there were there were there were you know the old the, the Wild West you know yeah. was 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 rampant here of course Lots and of and so. So yeah, these homes, you, these older homes and hotels you have had deaths to in them. Remember so the history of Jefferson. Yeah. First of all, if sure. you, like, there was a shootout in a saloon there. It's no longer a saloon. I think a, it's a also, office building of some sort, but um, or some sort of storefront. But you go in there, you can still see the bullet holes in the ceiling and the mm -hmm. walls. It's pretty cool. 
but there was a shootout there. And, and well, that's just bad handicraft, like oh, yeah. all the carpenter. <laughs> and uh, the con saloon used to be a brothel. Yeah, that's probably why it's haunted by a naked lady. Well, that makes gotcha. sense. Nice. I always go visit <laughs> Diamond Besky and leave her right. an offering. So, can you guys please start with brothels? No. Or former brothels. No, and, we're going to no. start with this B&B. This um, is all on Actually, a... ironically, the brothels, I have the least activity in. Mm -hmm. They probably are like, this bitch belongs here when I walk in. And they're like... <laughs> <laughs> they just leave you alone. <laughs> they do. I'm like, hey. Like, and they're like... Uh, like, put on your number. She whatever. looks like she, she, she gets up. She looks like she works life. here. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is going to be a great uh, episode and all of your episodes. Yeah. yeah if they're like that. Yes, because, yeah. you know, we want you to tickle us with all of these cool ghost stories. It, it ain't that kind of video. Um, no. There's no tickling. There's well, no, wait, no, there's no, no foot why, fetishes Why limit here? yourself? I'm why okay. limit yourself? I'm okay if you're a cute spirit I mean, and you want to tickle if you me. Subscribe, like, you totally have permission. If you subscribe to our Patreon, we might have some foot tickling videos. Right. When, <laughs> other than that. Outstanding. Okay, when yeah, will you have that no, ready? We're going to work on it. We're working on all that. I'll make you sure to get it made. You get funded by Tarantino if you play your cards right. With yeah. Yeah. I mean, Good. there is that long Maybe he was the one who massage. messaged my Facebook three years ago for a video. Mm -hmm. and, and Incognito. And just tell him it involves feathers and then show some good close-ups of your toes. Yeah, I'll get a pedicure. It'll be fun. Okay. If anything, I'll get a pedicure out of it. Are sex ghosts called poktergeists? <laughs> poke Maybe. Me. I thought about that joke 20 minutes ago. And I've well, instead of manifestations, it it's like uh, molest well, fistations. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I tried. Well, well, I tried real hard. You, Sorry. Well, well, wait, wait, wait. Is the word, My fist, brain is the word fist in there? Is oh that what you were saying? Gosh. No. You tried to do too much. It's manifestation. Once. Fist. Manifestation. Manifestation. Yeah. See, Every he's time good you at hear, it. He's no, a comedian, no. though. He's, so he's good at it. He is. Yes. He's been thinking about these for a while, I feel like. No. For weeks. <laughs> for weeks. He's Ever been putting he them in his pocket. heard about ghost babes. No, he's been writing up. He, he takes notes on his phone. He's like, oh, that'd be funny to say. <laughs> we, we'd look, be like, look. and this is our camera guy, Ziggy. He's also a comedian. You see yeah. me work, apparently. Mm. <laughs> look, studies and statistical analysis show that people love it when you talk about fisting on this show, Velvet. And, and we, you know, we want you to just continue uh, that. Oh, yeah, that's ben true. Ben says, molestification. Molestification. Hey, is there anything else going on? On the feed that we should bring up, Jamie Slash, while we have a couple uh, minutes. Ben says, if a ghost is not naughty, I question their ghostliness. Mm. Me too. Now, It'd is be hella creeping too. if I is, was a ghost. So if I act like I don't want it. Like, yeah. But I feel like that's not right. I nah, like I think it should I, be direct. Because I was very cause, direct. No, because ghosts want to cause mischief. And that's not hmm. mischievous if so, you ask them to do that. it. But then I tried that. After I did that, I was like, don't touch my ass. And it still didn't work. But see, there's two of you. You can have a two-pronged approach. Well, yeah, one, but one the way, way you said it was, well, fine, don't touch my ass then. Like, <laughs> I'm going to get so... I was no, like, fuck you. I'm going to get so molested by a ghost because I'm a total bitch. <laughs> Go <laughs> in there going to be like, hey, demons. Guys. Demons, demons come at me, demons. and then they're gonna be like, <laughs> I'm gonna be like, what about me? And they'll be like, fuck you. Wait, wait, wait. can we get a close up camera on that? No, I, I'm not I didn't doing that. Again. No, I didn't catch it. No, I'm oh, not okay. doing that again. And then right. I'm gonna go, fuck, why not me? And I'm gonna run off and cry in the corner because no yeah. ghosts love me. And then I'm gonna have to go buy my own haunting on fucking Etsy. <laughs> and this is my life. This is gonna be a serious show, y'all. I can Very already tell. Serious. As you know, we're always serious here, and never in a million years would I exaggerate about that. We hope you get what you deserve. Why do you keep saying that? We that is our our tagline logo just, slogan. Just desserts. Can I have dessert? Yeah, you can. I'm hungry. Yeah. You know, I really I'm wanted really pie hungry. yesterday, and I didn't go get pie, and I'm really sad I'm about that. Get dinner <laughs> before I go to the like, church. Literally, all I thought about is how I didn't get fucking pie yesterday. Janie yeah. Slash might want to eat with you. Well, dinner before I'm, church. my friend's meeting me at my place at eight. Oh, gotcha. Nobody so wants can't. me. See? But who's cooking? Ghosts don't want I'm me. I'm not cooking. We're going out for wings. Velvet doesn't want me. Hey, I thought we wings. were having wings. I can have wings every goddamn day, girl. Just call me up. We'll get we're some gonna, wings. We're going to work wings. on our Patreon like Patreon in the next and week and a half or so while we're ghost eating wings and pepper watching ghost wings. adventures. <laughs> ghost pepper. <laughs> ghost pepper. You know, they have ghost, uh, ghost, is it ghost pepper or California Reaper or something type of. Hell. It's just hell. <laughs> no, they have it at the cider. It's a cider. Oh, that's right. You were telling and me you have about to sign the cider. A waiver. Called Cidercade, right? No, not Cidercade. Uh, uh, cider. It's in Deep Ellum. And. 
It's on the tip of my tongue. Yeah, you know, it's there. Just keep walking. It's only Cider Place in Deep Ellum. It's on Main. You'll find it. Sorry. Right. Yeah. It's in like a little area. It, What's it called? It's next to that place where we got poutine. Or yeah, that, fries. that really helps. It's called Get Fried. Yeah. Get Fried. Get Fried. It's next get to Get fried. fried. Oh, okay. This is called Cider Something. And there's a and, poutine um, place. What's up, Ziggy? Yeah, oh, we, we, gotta, we gotta wrap it up. We gotta wrap it up. Oh, we'll wrap it up. Anyway, go get you some cider with some peppers. Stay or, safe. Wrap it up. Neighbors. Yeah, always put always protection use protection. On. We believe in protection. Go ahead, Velvet. Nothing. All right. I had. So, I was going to say something really bad. No, please. No, wrap, it's wrap fine. It up. No, it's fine. I'm good. All right. I'm good. Is that is kind of the purview of the entire show? <laughs> yeah, that's what we're about, Velvet. No, I'm good. All right. <laughs> so look, next time we want an update on the Patreon. We want an update on the uh, foot fetish videos. Um, we want an update okay. on all of the Ghost Babe uh, stuff. We will post the Ghost Babe Facebook page once we get it up on the Corpse Paint. Yeah, Plus, we'll link it on our personal pages and, and then the too, yeah. Corpse Paint Plus show. The follow wi- Corpse Paint show or follow Deadly Sins also. Follow both. And, and the wish list on Amazon. Yes, we'll post that. Yeah. yeah. You can okay. follow us if you would like to follow us and keep up with us before we wrap up. You can follow Velvet at Velvet Mystique on Facebook. And Instagram. And Instagram. You can follow me, Janie Slash on Facebook and on Instagram. Just if you do send me an Instagram request, it is private, so just shoot me a message. Let me know who the hell you are or that you've seen me on the Course Paint Show and I'll, I'll approve it. But I get a lot of weird requests. Mine's not private. It's public. It's mm-hmm. wide open. Mm-hmm. Wide open. Mine's not. <laughs> hey. You have to have an like, exclusive members only type thing. I'm just kidding. Our big thanks to Max Booth the third for being on our show. Thank you, Max. Thank you, Max. We appreciate you, man, and wish you all the best. All right. One more time, Ziggy. We're going to show our event coming up next month, February. It is the Lords of Chaos closing night after party Ooh. wild. You told me that earlier that you're going to show it twice. Not ready. Sorry. Anyway, okay. we're good, right. and we will get yeah, there. You there go. it is. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Check it out, and we'll post that on our page. Hey, but real quick, that's at the Texas Theater. This is where Oswald was arrested. Out of time, buddy. We, we are okay. Yeah, you are. Thank you for watching, and look, thank you, hey. Chop Lock TV, for being thank part you, of us. Thank you, Velvet, for coming on the show. Thank you, Velvet. Yeah. Tune in for glad to be here. Babes. You guys, take us out. Take us out. Bye from I Ghost only know Babes. How to shimmy. That's Bye. <laughs> Just use your shoulders. All in the shoulders. There you go. Yeah, the Corp Paint Show. Every Sunday we're here live. We're going to give you 90 minutes of live, great, irreverent shit. <laughs> and also just talk about Satan and talk about movies and talk about metal and talk about Jenny Slash's uh, weekly dose of horror. Yeah. Texas Friday Night Weekend. I am here with Dee Wallace. Don't just don't share my boobs all the time. Sure. I do get comments from occasionally religious fanatics. I have seen people yeah. stopping that one. Who wag their finger at me for a ring tight. The Gold Space Show Rule!